Welcome back to another Fish Guy Chris FGC video, baby. First of all, huge, huge shout out to Danielle Levac. I think that's how you say your name. Sorry if I butchered it, but huge shout out to this comment right here. She wants to see more fishing videos and thinks that um, FGC is killing the content. I appreciate the kind words so much. I absolutely love when you guys are positive down in the comments. It means the world to me. So I appreciate that so much. Keep throwing them down in the comments and uh, each video I'm gonna shout somebody out for having a terrific, terrific comment. I appreciate all of you guys. The support on the new channel has been unbelievable. Yeah, I love it. So today I got a special one. We're not doing some fishing today, but we're doing stuff with the ponds today, which is gonna be a good one. But I have a serious, serious topic I have to talk to you guys about, so follow me. So if you guys don't know, this is my little room, okay? I gotta, uh, this is my room. This is where the fish guy Chris sleeps every once in a while, all right? He puts his head down right there. I went in the pool the other day, so I got a bunch of towels here. You know, this is the this is the fish guy Chris room. So, I also need to do my laundry. Always do your laundry, kids. When your mom tells you to do the laundry, you gotta do it. So, I have a idea, you know, I've been thinking about, but I'm only gonna do it if you guys wanna see it. So, I'm not gonna do anything you guys don't wanna see. This is, we gotta do, we gotta please the people. Do what you guys want. So, I've been thinking, first of all, I got my desk here. I got my frogs, I moved. I had to move them down there. My frogs had to move down there. Everyone's been asking about the frogs. They're down there right now because I had to do some work on my desk. So I put them down there for the day. I'm gonna bring them back up in a second, but I have something to ask about this area over here. Now I've been seeing a lot of cool videos and pictures of people's tanks, and I'm thinking, should Fish Guy Chris have his own tank for the, fish, for the FGC channel? Let me know in the comments, baby. Should I do it? I'm gonna put it right here. I gotta move gotta move my rods and everything. And this has to go. I could put either one or two there. I can either get one big one there or two like 75s. I don't even know. It would probably come out to here, but you get the picture. Should I put one right here? Do I have room over there? Probably not. Who knows? Fish, Fish Guy Chris could put whatever he wants there. But here, we definitely have room. So let me know in the comments. You guys want to see FGC get his own tank. I'm personally thinking I've never done a cichlid tank before and I've been seeing a lot of cool really cool pictures that you guys have been sending me on Instagram of cichlid tanks. I've never done an African cichlid tank. Should I make it happen? Should we do it right here? Let me know in the comments and like this video. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes and uh, let's make it happen. Support FGC. If this video hits 1,000 likes, I know you guys want to see me do a giant African cichlid tank over there, which would be sweet. I've never done one. I'm gonna go so hard on it, make it look perfect. So let me know in the comments and by liking this video. No, ah, ah. that's my Darth Vader helmet. If you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Darth Vader fan, huge Star Wars fan. So, FGC, this is my boy right here. This is Darth Vader. All right, let's get into the video. I just wanted to show you guys that. Now, let's hop into the video. I got some cool things planned for today. All right, so today I'm thinking I want to go to the store and shop for some fish. I haven't done that in a long time, and I want to get some more fish for this tank, just some small guys. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to get yet. I'm going to go to the store and see what they have, but I do want to get this pond going because I want eventually the big, big saltwater pond that we're going to put right here. If you guys want to see it, hit the like button if you want to see it. I want to put a giant saltwater pond right in the middle of the tank, right in the middle of the, of the warehouse, maybe like 3,000 gallons or something. And all those fish can go into there, including a special fish in this pond that you haven't seen yet. I want to put into the big one. So we have a lot of space for new fish. But the tanks are coming along well. This, the saltwater tank gets a little murky because of a reason I, I don't know if you've seen yet, so I, don't, I can't tell you. But the saltwater pond has been getting a little murky and the freshwater one's doing terrific right now, so do not worry about that. But I want to get some more fish for the saltwater pond. Let's hit the store. Now the store I went to is the one that we go to all the time. This one has always has a lot of decent fish, but they very rarely get some really cool stuff in that we always pounce on when they do get cool stuff in. 
So, but today they just had the basics. They had some cool, really cool stuff that I haven't seen before. They got some new corals, they got some new fish, and they had especially a couple things that I bought that I haven't had before and they have not been in this pond before. So that's what we're doing today. We're picking those things up. We're bringing them back to the house and we got some new fish for the saltwater pond. Okay, just leaving the store now. Got the goods, baby. Let's go. Oh my God, I almost just fell getting into my car. I'm not cutting that out. I'm keeping everything, guys. Even, even fish guy trip. Even fish guy. Even fish guy Chris trips and falls every once in a while. So I got the fish in the car. We're going back to the warehouse now. Now, now they had some pretty cool stuff in there. They didn't have crazy stuff because they're gonna do, they, I think they're getting a shipment either a shipment of whole new fish, everything. I think they do get them on Thursdays and Fridays. Today's Wednesday, so I'm a day early. But they did have something that I had never had before and never seen before that I bought. So let's get back to the warehouse and put them in the pond. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay guys, I got my bag of fish here. We got three different bags, three different things going in this pond. And I'm gonna tell you the reasoning why I got these things. And let's see what we got. Okay, so we got three different bags today. This is bag number one. Now, the reason I got these fish is because there's already one in here and he has no friends. He gets bullied and picked on all day and he needs some backup for the boys. So, what I did was I got two little damsels, just the basic ones, just like the other ones. These are actually chromies, the same thing pretty much. But these guys are gonna swim together and they'll protect each other, they'll watch each other's backs, you know? You gotta have. You gotta have the boys. You can't be a lone soldier in there. So he's a lone soldier, and I don't like that. So what we're gonna do. I got two more of these guys. Now we're gonna have three of them. Hopefully, eventually, I'm gonna get a lot so they'll all just school together. It'd be a really cool effect in the pond. So we're gonna start with two more chromies, and then I got two other bags. Let's put these guys in the pond. Okay, so I'm gonna use the critter keeper to get these guys in. Being a one man show doing this stuff is very difficult. So maybe I'll pour the fish in like this. So I'm gonna put them in the critter keeper because it'll be a lot easier to do. So these are our two chromies that are going in. The big saltwater pond. Well, that's gonna be the small one pretty soon when we get the big one right here. Wow, this is extremely difficult to do by yourself. Like, really difficult. Like, this is hard. I will never take manager Brooke for granted because she is our filmer. And uh, doing this all by myself is really hard. How am I supposed to net pour, film all at the same time, and get a good shot for you guys. It's tough, but I'm making it work. This is bag number one, chromies. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pour them in. This is, I'm, I'm struggling right now with this one-handed. Wow, there you go. Oh, they're already in, let's go. They're already in, that's perfect. There they are. Two chromies, are you guys uh, doing all right? Yeah, so let's put them in. Those are our two guys swimming off, baby. There they go, finding shelter. They love it in here. Oh yeah, that's a 300 gallon pond for you. All for you. That's beautiful, love that. Absolutely love that. Wait till they find their other damsel friend. They're all gonna be boys, man. It's gonna be, gonna be just a beautiful sight to see. All right, let's go to bag number two and see what's inside. Okay, this is my second bag. Now the other day when I did the vending machine mystery box, I got a red peppermint, I think, no, cleaner shrimp. So today, instead, to get him a friend, it's all about friendships, man. It's all about friendships. FGC, it's all about friendships. So I got the shrimp, another homie, but I got him an arrow crab, and this was the biggest one they had there. This thing's giant, he's so big, and he's got some cool, like, colors on his claws. You can't really see them, but they're purple. So that is an arrow crab. Honestly, scary looking, but He's gonna look great in this pond, he'll do good. He'll clean up some stuff that is, uh, when the fish don't eat it, he'll eat it. So it'll be perfect, and he fits well in this pond, so that's bag number two. Now let's get him in the pond. Okay, bag number two, here we go. Going in the critter keepers, this is the only way I can do it. Here we go, bag number two, arrow crab. Really cool, I'm gonna see if I can show them to you guys in the critter keeper, because it'll look really cool in there, so let's pour them in. That is an arrow crab right there. Like when you touch him, he wakes up. What's up, buddy? Wanna pinch me? Wanna give me a pinch, huh? Look at his, I don't know if you can see his claws. Those claws right there are purple, actually. They're purple. Let's see if I, can I even hold him? He's gonna pinch me. 
It's actually really, really cool. He's very cool. I love this guy. What should we name him? Should we just name him Arrow? I think it's a perfect name for him. He is picked up. He's in my hand right now. Look at that. That is sick. I think he's pinching me. I'm not sure. All right, here he goes. Putting him in the pond. In the 300 gallon. There you go, buddy. Float away. There he is. He looks like a spider, bro. That's just like my tarantula. What's he doing? So, he is now in the pond. He looks good in there. He's gonna be awesome with his new shrimp. Whew. All right, damsels and an arrow crab. Let's see what's in bag number three. Okay, this is gonna be my favorite bag of the day. This is bag number three, and it's a good one. This was something I'd never seen in a store before, so I said, you know what, I'm getting it. I have one in here already that's already really cool. It's a different type, though. It is a really, Really cool starfish, purple and white, and black and white. It is so cool. I have a bright red one in there already, and it is doing phenomenal. So I said, screw it, why not? Let's get another one of these guys. It's gonna be perfect for the pond. I mean, this thing is dope. I love it. So I saw it at the store, I said, you know what, I'm getting it. I'm absolutely getting it. I love starfish, they're dope. Now, let's get this guy, bag number three, in the pond. All right, let's get bag number three in. Now this one, I don't need to pour in the Critter Keeper. I can actually pick them up, which is just perfect. Yeah, I think next time I film one of these videos, me buying fish, I need a camera woman. Manager Brooke, I'm looking at you. I, I can't do this by myself. I mean, I can, it's just really hard. Bear with me, people, here's bag number three. I'm gonna just grab them. Look at that. Look at that starfish right there. That is really, really cool. I love starfish, bro. I think they're sick. Look at that. Let's go. That's sick. So I got him at the store. He was actually 30 bucks. That's, that's a decent amount for a starfish. So he's going to look good with our red one in here. They got plenty of room to share and prosper together. But let's put him in. He's sticking to me already. He's sticking to my fingers. Oh my god, he's actually stuck to my fingers. He's sticking to my fingers. I love this starfish. He's my best friend, I think. Look at that. I'm going to put him right there. There's the arrow crab. He's still moving around. There's our starfish right there. Actually, let's put him on a rock. Let's put him up here on this rock. He likes rocks. He likes Rex. He's a big rock head. There he is. There's our starfish named Johnny. Okay guys, we got three things from the store. Let me know what you think about them. I think they're awesome, they're kick ass. Just to add a little extra flair to the pond. Nothing too crazy, but it's really cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe on the videos. It means a lot to me when you guys do it. FGC in the house. FGC Army grows by the day. Appreciate you. Remember guys, at 10K subs, I'm going to be giving away this tank right here. Road to 10K. I want to hit 10K by the end of this month. So let's do it. Let's make it happen. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.